Space exploration is one of humanity's boldest adventures, pushing the limits of technology, courage, and physics. But with great ambition comes great risk. Today, we're diving deep into the most catastrophic space disasters ever recorded. These aren't just moments of tragedy, they're turning points in science, engineering, and the human story of reaching beyond Earth. So buckle up, because this journey through history is filled with danger, heroism, and hard-earned lessons written in the stars. Number 1, The Challenger Disaster, January 28, 1986. It was supposed to be a celebration of progress. The Space Shuttle Challenger lifted off with seven astronauts on board, including Krista McAuliffe, a schoolteacher set to be the first civilian in space. But just 73 seconds after launch, the shuttle broke apart in mid-air. The cause? A tiny rubber o-ring in the right solid rocket booster failed due to cold temperatures, causing a catastrophic structural breakup. The chilling footage was broadcast live, and the world watched in horror. NASA paused shuttle missions for over two years. The Rogers Commission, which investigated the tragedy, revealed not only technical flaws, but also cultural and communication failures within NASA. The Challenger disaster changed how we think about safety in spaceflight forever. Number 2, The Columbia Disaster, February 1, 2003. 17 years later, another shuttle tragedy shook the world. Columbia disintegrated upon re-entry after a 16-day mission. The reason? A piece of foam insulation had broken off the external fuel tank during launch and struck the shuttle's wing. That foam created a breach in the thermal protection system. During re-entry, superheated gases entered the wing, causing the spacecraft to break apart, killing all seven crew members. NASA's return to flight was again delayed for more than two years. The Columbia Accident Investigation Board blamed not just the foam, but also systemic issues, echoes of the Challenger report. Once again, technical oversight and organizational culture proved just as dangerous as space itself. Number 3, Apollo 1 Fire, January 27, 1967. This was the first fatal accident in the U.S. space program. During a routine pre-launch test, astronauts Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chafee were trapped inside their Apollo 1 capsule when a fire ignited. Within seconds, the cabin filled with smoke. The pure oxygen environment and flammable materials caused the fire to spread rapidly. The astronauts couldn't open the hatch in time. All three perished. The Apollo program paused and underwent major redesigns. Safety procedures were overhauled. Ironically, the tragedy that nearly derailed the Moon program ended up making it safer and more robust, paving the way for Apollo 11's historic landing just two years later. Number 4 Soyuz 11, June 30, 1971 The only humans to have died in space, literally in orbit, were the crew of Soyuz 11. After spending 23 days aboard the world's first space station, Salyut 1, they successfully completed their mission. But tragedy struck during re-entry. A cabin vent valve opened prematurely, causing rapid depressurization. The cosmonauts, Georgi Dobrovolsky, Viktor Patsayev, and Vladislav Volkov, died silently, without a sound. When the capsule landed, it appeared intact. But when the recovery team opened it, they found all three astronauts lifeless, still strapped into their seats. This led to the mandatory use of pressure suits during critical flight phases, a requirement still followed today. Number 5, Nadellan Catastrophe, October 24, 1960. One of the deadliest accidents in the history of rocketry, and one shrouded in secrecy for decades, occurred during the Soviet Union's missile testing program. The R-16 ICBM was being prepared for launch when a premature ignition triggered a massive explosion. Over 100 people died, including Marshal Mitrov and Nadellan, a top Soviet commander. The bodies were burned beyond recognition. The Soviets kept the incident classified until 1989. This disaster was a grim reminder of the extreme risks associated with early rocketry, especially in a Cold War era arms race, where safety was often sacrificed for speed. Number 6, SpaceX Starship Explosions, 2020 to 2023. Fast forward to modern times. SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, has been testing its massive Starship rocket, designed for missions to Mars and beyond but early test flights didn't go as planned. SN1 through SN11 experienced explosions on landing or during flight. The most famous example was SN10, which landed, and then exploded seconds later. However, unlike past disasters, these were unmanned and part of an intentional test and learn strategy. Each failure gave engineers valuable data, accelerating progress toward reliable spaceflight. It's a different philosophy, fail fast, learn faster. 
SpaceX isn't afraid of failure, as long as it leads to success. Number 7, Mars Climate Orbiter, September 23, 1999. Sometimes, the biggest failures aren't fiery explosions, but quiet calculations. NASA lost the Mars Climate Orbiter because two teams used different units, one used metric, the other used imperial. The result? The spacecraft entered Mars' atmosphere at the wrong angle and burned up. A $327 million mission was lost to a unit conversion error. The incident prompted a complete overhaul of NASA's project management and cross-team coordination practices. It also became a textbook case of why attention to detail is critical in science and engineering. Number 8, Virgin Galactic VSS Enterprise Crash, October 31, 2014. In 2014, Virgin Galactic's dream of space tourism suffered a major setback. The VSS Enterprise, a suborbital spaceplane, broke apart mid-flight during a test run. The co-pilot had unlocked the craft's feathering system too early, causing aerodynamic forces to tear the ship apart. The co-pilot died instantly, the pilot survived with serious injuries. The accident led to a multi-year pause in Virgin Galactic's program and a re-evaluation of cockpit safety systems. The dream of commercial spaceflight took a painful but necessary detour. Number 9, Proton-M Rocket Failures, 2010s. Russia's Proton-M rocket, a workhorse of spaceflight, suffered multiple high-profile failures in the 2010s. One crashed just seconds after liftoff because sensors were installed upside down. Another failed due to premature engine shutdowns. Billions of dollars in satellites were lost. These failures underscored the growing concerns about quality control and systemic issues in the Russian space industry. While Proton-M has since been phased out, the lessons remain relevant to all launch providers. Number 10, Cosmos 954, January 24, 1978. Cosmos 954 was a Soviet spy satellite powered by a nuclear reactor. When its orbit decayed, it re-entered Earth's atmosphere and scattered radioactive debris across northern Canada. The cleanup operation, codenamed Operation Morning Light lasted months. Only a small fraction of the reactor core was recovered. The incident raised global alarm about nuclear-powered satellites and led to treaties on peaceful space usage. It was a wake-up call, space accidents don't just stay in space, they can have real consequences on Earth. Space is not forgiving. Every accident we've discussed costs lives, time, or billions of dollars. But each also taught us something invaluable. From faulty O-rings to mismatched units, from premature re-entry to exploding rockets, these disasters reshape safety protocols, engineering practices, and even the philosophy of how we explore the cosmos. Humanity continues to reach for the stars. But we do so on the shoulders of those who paid the ultimate price. If you found this journey through space history fascinating, don't forget to like and subscribe. What other space disasters or mysteries would you like us to explore next? Let us know in the comments, and until next time, Keep looking up.